calling it the way of Daniel Wells. The Kangaroos need to kick another goal if they're going to hang on here. In fact, they might even need to kick another couple. Goes for Brown. Presty equal to that. Throw in. The major was nine points at quarter time, 17 at half time, out to 25 at three quarter time. Wakeland, oh, oh four to the place one. How can you let a play there? His handball though was poor. Chance for Sinclair, bad turnover. Harvey, ball ripped off him by Johnson. Deloney somehow got a kick in there. Tracking towards the line. Well done, Pendlebury. Used his body very well. Can he find a target? Rocker. They have a shot. 55 from goal. Not much on. Or is there? Kicks to Burns. Oh, brilliantly done. Great interception there from Shannon Watt. Oh, and the ball's kick. tied up. Which way is it going? Oh, great. I bring it get the free kill. Burns, is it? No, it's going Kangaroo's way. No, no, the umpire's changed his mind. It's going to Scott Burns. Burns, is it? Yeah. There it is. Let's have a look at it. There he is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Against Pratt coming in front on. So, quite remarkably, if Scott Burns can kick this from 48 metres, Collingwood, for the first time today, will be in front. An amazing transformation. They kicked the goal at the 26-minute mark of the second quarter. Didn't kick a goal in the third quarter. Scott Burns directly in front. Kicks are behind, or is it coming back? The Magpies are in front. <laughs> quite, quite amazing, Malcolm. Seven Collingwood goals in this final term, and as Tim mentioned, just five for the first three quarters. It is, it, it is staggering, but that window of opportunity remained for him. And, and that is a free kick in anyone's language. It's come in high, and really, the Kangaroos probably should have cared it. But more importantly, is to the momentum that Collingwood have got. Two hundred gamer Scott Burns gives Collingwood the lead for the first time all day in time on in the last quarter. Dean Laidley must be feeling just about shattered. Can his kangaroos win it back? Fraser and McIntosh. Fraser did it superbly. First there though, Rawlings needed clean hands. Simpson swinging it into half forward. Thomas tried to edge out Clement. But Clement, too good, too experienced, too cool. Collingwood in front by three points. Johnson unmanned. Kangaroos have unraveled in the last quarter. Probing ball is good for the first time Magpie. The former docker, Medhurst. Too far out. Still time for the Kangaroos yet, but it is all Collingwood. Seven goals to one in this last turn. Pumps it long, very long. Not quite long enough, or was it? It's a behind. <laughs> Collingwood by four points. It's interesting. Uh, Adam Simpson just went off then. He's, he's only had the one touch in this last quarter. Just The midfield's fallen apart a bit, hasn't it, uh, the Kangaroos? Petrie wobbles it to half-back. In front, Harris dropped the mark. Chance for Riggio. Now Thomas. Out wide, Medhurst again on attacking 50. Again, just bangs away to the top of the square. Rocker has won out here with Petrie. And again, Petrie does very well. Forces it through for a behind. That's a good play by Petrie to get it back in. He had Sinclair loose. Much better kick in than the one a moment ago. One on one here, Harvey and Reese Shaw. And Harvey will win it. And here's a chance. First game of Hanson. Good choice. Good delivery. And Shannon Grant is oh, a good man no, to have the footy 50, 50. It's a certain goal. And, and rightly so. If you take a mark and you're not in, the, the opponent is not in the play, then you shouldn't, you, you're not allowed to touch the player. And, and have a look at this. The Hanson kick is a beauty. Now, Heath Shaw grabs him, holds him, holds him, holds him, holds him. Can't do it. That's the interpretation. Yeah. Now it actually happened inside 50. Surely the man on the mark should be on the goal line. Oh, he's missed it. Oh. Now that, that 
is controversial. He took that mark inside 50. Yes, he did. He should have been a 50 on... meter penalty. He that should have been an incredible execution of his responsibility by the umpire. That should have been on the goal line. Gee, that is unbelievable. Now the Magpie is away. Thomas De Fraser. Well, this will be a talking point. Oh, I just, it, 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 yes, you're quite right. You're 100% right. However, 15 or 20 metres out, it's not a problem for Shannon Grant, is it? He tried to kick it 100 mile an hour. Yeah. It was so just amazing. He, he made up his mind to actually not dolly it. So he ran in as quick as I've seen him run in all day. Claim it. Still think there's probably a couple of minutes left. I now, reckon if you miss an opportunity been like that, you might be running out of them. Well, Midhurst, oh, yeah. yes, just. Yeah, you don't, uh, you can't afford to miss those. I mean, they've kicked a lot of points. I mean, Collingwood have had a great last quarter, but if they get out of this, they've got out of jail card. Three. Nine goals scored in this final term, so as we tick up to 29 minutes, Medhurst, oh, oh, gee. Get that. The wobbly old torpedo. McIntosh not quite, but it opens the game up for Rito. What? Oh, he needs to get boot the ball and did somehow. Now, here's a chance for the Kangaroos. Jones kicks it inside, attacking 50. At the back, chance for Grant. Brilliant tackle. Thomas! Oh. Offline again. I thought, Tim, that maybe, just maybe, after kicking four behinds today, he may have finished it off. But he kicks off fifth <laughs> behind Lindsay Thomas. Oh. It would have been the perfect finish, but alas, it appears there might be no perfect finish to this for the Kangaroos. It will be a highly contentious one. Collingwood with the footy and with a three-point lead. Not many seconds left. And the Magpies will run down the clock. Well, this is going to be an extraordinary outcome. Reshaw takes his time. Ooh. He kicks to a contest. Harvey is there, but he's outreached by Swan. No Swan ever looked more graceful for Magpie fans. Now O'Brien, play on is the call. Got to go. He does. He goes for territory. In front, soundly, Pratt played on. Just got his boot to it, surely. Collingwood free kick. Medhurst, well, who knows what he'll do. Yeah. Some of his kicks in the last seven or eight minutes have been extraordinary. He's more likely to go back and slot this. There That's it. Is. So after the siren, Paul Medhurst to extend the Collingwood lead, but it is incidental because this has been one of the great victories by Collingwood. Off two steps from 50 metres, he kicks it off line. In fact, it's out on the full. Collingwood by three points at the MCG. Quite a remarkable turnaround. Seven goals in the final term after kicking just five for the first three quarters.